about the fact that you have a team in World Team Tennis unlike individually on the tour? Well, obviously you're out there on the court the great majority of the time. Um, I like team sports growing up, played basketball, soccer, pretty much anything. Um, as, as a tennis player, I think that you sort of miss that a little bit, at least I did. So a lot of doubles I played over the years. And uh, Davis Cup was big to me because you sort of got to root for some teammates. And this sort of is uh, something that makes a lot of sense because it pits, uh, there's a competition, you're playing against each other, but at the same time you're, you're playing with men and women on the same team and uh, you can root for them and it encourages people to get more involved. So that's, that should be in my wheelhouse. And Serena Williams and Venus both said that Billie Jean King helped them at a World Team Tennis Clinic when they were little kids, kind of like how you helped Donald Young. What do you think about WTT and its place in the community? Well, I mean, we're trying to do everything we can to figure out ways for more kids to be able to afford to play tennis and want to be on a tennis court. And I think one of the tricks is to do something where they feel like they can be with some friends. So um, I think the idea of team tennis is more important than the powers that be realized. And uh, they sort of let this advantage uh, slip away, I think, a little bit. In the 70s, when I first met Billie Jean, team tennis was playing in Madison Square Garden in big places. and. Um, I, didn't think, I don't think they gave it the proper respect, so it's an, up, it's an uphill battle, but um, I would think for kids that are used to sort of being in a noisier environment where most of the other sports uh, arenas are played, you, you feel that energy a lot more that um, they could relate a little bit better. And you want to win, John, there's no question. The Washington Castles went undefeated. They're in your Eastern Division. They're very competitive. Mark Ein, Murphy Jensen. Talk about how you want to dethrone these guys and hand them a loss for the first time Well, in we years. should have beaten them the first match I played. I'd, uh, you know, I played four of the matches last year, and we had them three match points at the end. And uh, you know, I, feel, I felt bad that I wasn't able to pull that off for the team because uh, we, we had a match. We snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. And then next thing you know, they go undefeated. So... Uh, we, we ended up with a little bit of eggs on our face and because um, we thought we were going to be there. And we sort of self-destructed a little bit at the end and we got unlucky and, um, and, and, and also some, uh, we choked a little bit. So uh, this, this time I think we're going to be a lot more prepared when we play them and um, I think we're going to be tougher to beat this year. What's your favorite World Team Tennis memory? My favorite World Team Tennis memory? Um, you know, I've had a couple of them. Uh, it, was, it was exciting uh, fairly recently when they played Andy Roddick. I got to the last point because, I mean, obviously he's still out there hammering away. And um, uh, I know that it wasn't one of his better days, but for me it was, it was exciting um, to, to sort of be at least competitive with him at the home court. And um, playing Bjorn, even though it was, uh, it, it's, it's not the same as the big matches we played, just sort of brought back those memories. And... Um, you know, I have memories of going back to the 70s, watching guys, seeing guys even in Madison Square Garden. And, you know, my late great buddy Vitas Garolides talked about it a lot. So, you know, I saw some matches going way, way back. And um, so uh, I'm hopeful that uh, before it's all said and done that I'll really be a part of a team that wins. I was once, uh, you know, from the periphery, but I'd like to be more involved. Well, that was Roddick hit that foreign cross court on match point. I remember that came down the wire. Everyone gets lucky sometimes. That was that was <laughs> close. He was nervous. I'll tell you, I was on the bench after. He said, "Man, he had me there." So that was a close one. And uh, Charleston's a great place. It's the home of the finals here for World Team Tennis. Hopefully, you can be there with your team, or at least your team can be there. How do you like this venue for uh, WTT? I think it's a great venue. I mean, they have uh, a tennis history, obviously, with the Family Circle Cup here, and. Um, it's a, it's a nice event for the women to start out the clay court season, and um, people love tennis here. Uh, they like to get out in the court and play. There's a lot of uh, resorts not far away, within half hour, 45 minutes, where, where people go all the time, and um, it's an opportunity. I mean, I think it's better than uh, the way it was set up, say, last year and previous years, where you have to sort of, people don't even know who's in the final, and suddenly, two days later, you're there, and I don't think it really can be promoted well. So this gives it a chance for the, the finalists or the four semifinalists to, to get to uh, Charleston and they have some time to build it up and hopefully that will pay off.